the Central Drivers are back for one final event in their division. They head to St. Louis, Missouri at the Dome at America Center to try and fight their way into the World Finals. The top nine in points make it, the other six fall to the last chance event. The points of the cut line oh so close, it's going to be an exciting event to see who can rise their way above the cut line and who may fall off because of that. BMG Monster from St. Louis is coming up next. It is the final event for the Central Division drivers to lock their way into the World Finals at Las Vegas. I'm Drew Kuski, along with me, Trey Bardo. We're here at the Dome at America Center in St. Louis, Missouri. This stadium had two events last season, Trey. This season, it is the ender for the Central Division. Nine drivers and points will get their way into the World Finals. What do you expect to see here, especially with the fight beat for the uh, the Division Championship down to Eli Bright, who won it last season, and Jake Galloway. They're separated by nine points. Well, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm expecting a close, you know, event from all the drivers. I mean, this track is, I guess you can say in theory, you know, stereotypical, generic, because it looks familiar to everything else. So I'm excited to see what these drivers can do. We have seen, seen it numerous times already this season, Trey, and uh, we'll see what these drivers can do differently to try and make their freestyle runs unique around this track, which they've maybe already seen a time or two so far this season. Without further ado, let's go take a look at the 15 trucks of freestyle here in St. Louis. Starting off, it'll be Code Red and Pringle Man, and Octon or Connor Annapol, and in Raminator, it's Samet Oskin. In Mohawk Warrior, we have Nautagon Scott, Bakugan Dragonoid, we have Dora Chung, and in Raven Kane, we have William Seaman. Then in Maxi, it's Ross McTrain, Mad Scientist Evan Hunter, and in Hot Wheels, it's Mathis Wells. And Scooby-Doo is Brandon Beal, Ram Nation is Keyshawn Richardson, and El Toro Loco has Conrad Evans. And then there's Eli Bright, Grave Digger, nine points below. Jake Gowie goes out last. In between them, it's Caden Lynn in the Black Pearl. So here we go, the final Central Division event of Season 2, and we have Code Red Pringle Man way below the cut line. Needs a big run train. He's the first truck out. How do you manage this if you're him? Hope for the best? <laughs> I mean, you got to hope to have a lot of luck on your side, especially if you're going to go... As big as this man looks like he's going. I mean, he started flying out on this track, and he got huge air. So uh, you really got to hope that luck is on your side tonight. I think he's a little mad with how his season has oh, gone. No! As he's two-wheeling over the MX hill. That was a crazy start. Uh, 15 seconds in, he might have already been a little scared. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> I uh, hmm. don't know if I want to start out my run that early that uh, crazy, you know? Well, he is going for it for sure. He's way below in points, Trey, so I guess his mentality is just, let's go, and if not, I'll see you in Atlanta. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't think he really has, you know, I mean, he's got, of course, he's got stuff to lose, but he doesn't have that much to lose because he could always go into last chance qualifier and uh, end up winning that, so. Oh. oh, my goodness, that was a weird hit. That was a weird hit. Luckily, he was able to save it. He's into the second half of the run now in this Mountain Dew Code Red truck. He's going to air it out over the single jump, which leads to the pond section landed it down decently. It was a little bit of a hard thing. He turns around very quickly towards the backflip ramp in the final 30 seconds for the Mountain Dew Code Red and Pringle Man into the backflip ramp. Perfectly completed, Trey. Textbook backflip ramp, especially being the first guy out there. It's good to see that uh, they, they built that right. Uh, Aaron out towards the MX. He'll land it down hard into a wheelie, into a little bit of a somersault, but it's back on all four wheels. A great save, and now about five seconds left. He'll gun it for the MX. He'll air it out over that. Land it down nice in the clock. We'll take to zero. And a nice way to end out the run for Pringle Man. 
I was going to stop right in front of the fans and show off the truck, considering it's still all in one piece. Yeah, he's going to be able to get out of that nicely and uh, salute the crowd for sure and drive that truck back into the uh, the garage area for attendance of his mechanics right here. There is the backflip, first truck out, first truck to go forward, and I mean, I think all four wheels landed pretty much at the same time. Yeah, I don't think he could have done that any better at all. I mean, of course, he had to back up, but judges know why. They don't care. Yeah, and right. then uh, right here, some nice air. Yeah, second to last hit, landed it down nicely, wheelie down the MX hill, kind of somersaults around, and I don't think he ever touched the body, but went onto the front wheels and then back on all four tires. So good way to start off for Pringle Man Code Red, and it's 19.5, so not too bad. We'll see where that places him, and we'll see if that can possibly try and get him into the World Finals. Another driver looking to make his way in below. It's the Octanair truck and Connor Annapol. Trying to make his way in. Can he try and top what Pringle Man and Code Red just did? We're going to find out. Nice air right there towards the MX Hill to kick off his 90 seconds in this Octaneer truck. You know, he's going to be going big for sure trying to make it into the World Finals. He's get aired out over the pod as well. I mean, as we said, you know, at the East, you know, if you're below the cut line, I mean, you don't really have that much to lose. You know, if you don't make it, you're going in the last chance. So you might as well go big, risk it all, and hope for the best. And, I mean, if it doesn't work out, you get another, you know, you get another shot. You get one last chance, as they say. It's a last chance event. It's a, I think it's pretty, pretty well named, Trey. It's, it's oh my goodness! Nicely over the pod. A little bit of a weird landing there. That could have sent him over, and there's a wall right where he was heading. So great job, corralled it in. He's going for an early backflip here, and even halfway through the run to the backflip ramp, he goes, lands it hard in the rear, but once again able to complete it. Yeah, that time the truck got a little bit more air compared to. Uh Mountain Dew of Code Red there and uh, over, almost over rotated it but not quite so he did a nice job controlling it. Final 30 seconds for the Octaneer truck needs to go a little bit bigger to try and beat out the 19.5 set by the Code Red truck airing it out over My the end oh, so is gonna hurt. hard on oh. the rear and did that break the front as well? I don't know something smoking though did you see the smoke shoot out of that? Yeah that was th that was a hard landing for Connor Annapol. It is done with about a dozen seconds left, and you can see why they shut him down early. Let's go take a look at the back flip, but then we'll look at that final hit, which, I mean, Connor Annapol and the truck both felt. Right here, as we said, it almost kind of over rotated it, but not quite. Didn't really mess him up at all, so still a nice back flip underneath him there, and then uh, this last hit again, Joe. I just want to. Yeah, so he kind of over rotates, and it's going to land on the back and. Yeah, look at it, that. It broke the front. It broke the front and the rear. That is what? such a hard hit. I mean, look at the tie rod. It is just fumbling around. I've never seen anything like that. That is insane. Somehow, it's only a point and a half short, even though he did not fill the clock. So, it was a good run for Connor and a pull in the Octaneer if he could have filled the clock. Who knows what it could have been. Next out, Ram Nersman Osgin. He is above the cut line but just by a few points, Trey. So if he fumbles in this run, he might fall below. So he needs to also, well, manage the clock in the 90 seconds. He also needs to go big to make sure he can ward off any of them. No! Oh, a nice save right there. But he has, to, he has to try to fill the clock, but also go big to make sure he can throw off any you know, effort from behind. No, that was one hit, and he was already uh, in danger of ending early. And facing towards um, the wall, trying to save it. Yeah, that was a... Uh... That is one of the things you never want to see while trying to save a truck is a wall coming straight towards you. I think for uh, Cement Oscar, well, I was going to say he, he might calm it down now. No. Nope. Uh, judging by the air <laughs> over the pod, calm is not in the vocabulary of the red here. Is, is there ever the word calm in any one of these drivers' vocabulary? I don't think so. Especially who, and he's flinging this truck around, and I mean, he's still at risk, though. He, you know, he, he, he is above. But he's barely above. If someone right below is a good enough run, he'll definitely knock him out. Oh my goodness, again up on two wheels there. This this truck is taking some weird bounces after it lands out on that uh, on any of the jumps here, so he, he might want to be careful of that. Yeah. Oh there's another one! Oh no, it's oh. on its lid! Can he save oh, it? No. Oh no, the single jump Joe, the, the single, single jump. jump. Joe, the single jump. It did it. it he did it. Cancelled out <laughs> his sidewalls, Trey. It did it, Joe. It it took it. It took a couple weeks off. Didn't really cost anyone anything, yeah. but it's uh, it's finally back it, at the worst possible time too. The yeah. last event of the Central regular season. And think about what this is going to do with Samet Oskin. You know, he's still going to be above at the moment, but what if drivers are right below, like Mathis Wells, Brandon Beal, Nonagan Scott? What if they do well and they knock him out? It's only a 16-5 for Ramonair. That's right now last place. 
He needs to hope so that the drivers around him in points also kind of fumble under the pressure. Donovan Scott, Trey, in the ball warrior, last in points. What does he have to lose? He's going to be going big, right? Uh, he might as well. Yeah, he is. Did he already break the... Uh, Did you see the way that front end of that truck reacted with yeah, that? It, almost it, looked, it like looked like it... it bent in, but I think they built it tough enough to at least absorb that. Now he guns it to uh, the end. It's not going to absorb it very much if he keeps hitting these ramps like he is right now. Yeah, if, if he keeps getting the air he's getting, uh, that truck's going to be broken in, I would say, maybe about two, three hits. Oh, you did say he doesn't really have anything to lose. He <laughs> is last in points, so I mean, what, what, what else can he do? <laughs> I guess uh, he has some money to lose. It's not even his money, it's his team's money. Well, <laughs> he is, I mean, he's still airing it out. I mean, every hit for Nonagon Scott so far has been major air, and once again, more. It's down oh. hard, but Ralph well, can turn back in now. The has the the way. He is doing a uh, fantastic job so far for the way he's hitting these jumps. I mean, he's still getting humendous, humongous, humendous? What? Humendous, humongous air, but um, <laughs> the truck's holding together, so, I mean, if it works out, it works out. Word, uh, between humongous and tremendous, I mean, be my guess. It would be the first time. week I make a new word. It would be the first time. Oh, no. A new word commentating. <laughs> what? I. What? Oh, no! <laughs> Did he do that on purpose? A fake? Look at this! What? I. <laughs> okay, um, what was the last five seconds? I, 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 I don't I, understand. Luckily, we have replays, so we can see it again off of the pod towards the MXL over backwards. What? On top of the MX Hill, onto the nose into the gas. He saved it. Maybe? Uh, no? Maybe? Yes, he did. He it. <laughs> and that's a great parking spot to get out and acknowledge the fans, Trey. What a run for Nagan Scott. You could tell that that was a man fighting for his season because he's last in points. That was, uh. That was. That was a run for right, the record I mean, books. I, I think he did this on purpose. I, I want to say he honestly did. He may have. He might have wanted to try and go for a bicycle. And it just got a little bit worse than what he was expecting. But he's still able to save it. And right here, wheelies it. Keeps the wheelie. And just kind of... Is that... I guess that's a sky wheelie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Quite I, literally a sky wheelie. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> I see what you did there. But uh, yeah, I would consider it that. And then right here, I mean... I don't even know what that was right it there. It almost landed perfectly, perfectly on, on the top. MX hill. <laughs> and then right here, he's going to gun it. And then the truck almost settled like right. So truck almost settled just like this. It did. For a while, it looked like it was going to set like that. Fortunately, it came back on all fours. It's going to be easier to get out. It's going to take the lead trade to 22 for Nottingham Scott, one of his better performances of the season. And it could be at just the right time to try and get his way to the World Finals. Well, speaking of trying to get into the World Finals, we wouldn't think Laura Chung and Becca Gon Dragon after the season she had last season would be fighting for her life in terms of the World Finals. But here she is going for the backflip. That's, uh, no. Trey, I wouldn't expect anyone else to do that. Trey, uh, that is very risky because she is barely above the cut line. Yeah, and uh, he could tell it was pretty risky too because she almost didn't land it considering that she's already missing the nose of the truck. Yeah, uh, so Laura Chung, above all else, <laughs> might just want the vent win. Uh, but if she flips this truck over early, she's not guaranteed to make it to the World Finals, which is shocking to say after the season she had last season in the Black Pearl truck. I mean, you know... It's crazy how things can change from season to season. Last season, she was going, you know, completely off the wall. And this, I mean, she just had bad luck throughout the different events here. So uh, no better time to turn it around than tonight and going into, you know, next week or next couple weeks here. So we'll have to see what happens. Like you said, she's been bad luck this season. And oh, maybe no. some more here. Cart wheeling around. A good what? bounce back on all fours. 30 seconds left. I think it was because of the way this body is shaped. It is shaped <laughs> round, and it just helps the truck just tumble. Now to the MX hill she goes. Nice here off of that. Landed down into a wheelie oh. upside down onto the backflip ramp. What? I, <laughs> what? Are you, well, Laura Chung might be back to form. She can fill out these final few seconds. Oh, my I mean, goodness. What, yep, she's going crazy now. She knows She knows what she's done in this event. Is it might be good enough for the lead steer, already. Bro? <laughs> what? Hey, Joe, I think we got a new leader, and she might want to get comfortable in that hot seat because it's going to be hard to break it. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened to her. Like you mentioned, while all that was happening, I think the rear steer may have broken on the truck. Yeah. Is it? No, this is the first hit, Joe. 
yeah, then right here, look, it. it almost didn't rotate enough. Oh, yeah, that is that, that is sketchy for Laura <laughs> Chung. Fortunately, it lands back on all fours, and she had a lot more left in store. And then right here, I don't understand how this ended up working out in her favor. But Well, she's had bad luck all season, Trey. Some good luck had to come her way at some point. Look at, look at the way the body helps. I mean... If that body was a truck, like, F-150 shaped or Gravedigger shaped... Oh, yeah, shaped, it's not coming back. It's No, not at all. And then, right here, I want to see this last hit. I want to see if the rear steer is stuck or not. Well, first, we have to see when oh, she wait, got never up mind. onto the bat there's, 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 there's one more highlight before that one, Joe. I forgot uh, Look at how, many, <laughs> how many different things were in this run. Look at... And I it mean, was landing on top! <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to be on top of it and have to drive off. Fortunately, it came back onto the ground, but here's what you're looking at. Is it? It does look like it's locked. Yeah, I think. Oh my gosh! And it flipped her. Like, look at this. Yeah, it's, I don't understand. It's locked. I don't understand. And look, even when she stops, it stays locked. So I, th I don't think she did that on purpose. I think it was just broken <laughs> oh, like watch that. Oh, watch out for the stand! <laughs> I didn't even notice I was there. And Trey, it's enough to take the lead to 25 for Lord Chung and the Bakugan Dragonoid. She's back to form, possibly. Is it going to be enough to win? Well, there's a lot more still left to come. She's only the fifth truck out. Next out, it's Williams coming to Raising Kane. Trey, he is on Razor's edge of making it to the World Finals. Can he try and lock it up with a decent result in the racing? He starts off with a tailgate drag of Willie across the stadium floor. Purpose, Razor and Raisin. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, okay. I, uh, no, I actually didn't just, think about that one. but. Uh, oh, okay. I was just curious because I was going to say uh, I, I noticed. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you didn't point that out, would never have noticed. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, good thing we worked together well. But, um... Steven, so far, kind of just taking it easy. I think he knows with how close he is to being into the World Finals or not. He just might want to turn on the nine seconds in the final, you know, 2015. Maybe go big. I mean, there absolutely isn't anything wrong with that at all. You know, we're either play it safe than sorry. But again, if you play it safe, you run that risk of, you know, the judges not seeing what you like. That's some nice air off the racing thing there. But, you know, y you might run the risk of, you know, not seeing the or not doing the things that judges like to see there. And they might score you a little lower than you're hoping for here. So we'll have to see if it works out in his favor. Yeah, perfect. That's a good jump to the pirate there. Landed down nicely. Fast momentum as he goes. Looks like for the back with Graham. 20 seconds left for William Seaman. Oh. Goes off the back with a little bit of an over rotation, but nice job back on all fours. He still has 15 seconds. What can he end up his run with? Did you see the way he kicked that hood while he's yeah. in mid back flip? That kind of looks like Rocket League. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty cool. Oh, oh no! Over the forwards. What? what the, the lip of the ramp helped him out to all fours! What? I. What? And some donuts for the Raising Cane. I, uh. I've never. Uh, is he ever gonna stop? Oh, yep. Now he's gonna oh, stop. Oh, oh, he's got to kind of <laughs> stop now. So, <laughs> well, I mean, it may not have been the best run throughout Trey. However, the ending was superb with the back flip and then the front flip. I think it should definitely be one of the higher scores. I would be surprised if it was right here. Look, Joe, Rocket League, right here. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. I'll, I'll give him that. That, that was unique. Uh, <laughs> I guess when the hood always comes off on the back, we might as well do something cool with it. But right here, from ground level, it just went off the lip of the ramp. Never. I didn't even know that was possible. Well, I didn't even know a truck could bounce that way. Now we know it's possible. And for William Seaman, that is a decent score. That's going to be third place right now. A 20 for William Seaman in the Raising Cane. Not too bad right there. It's next out. It's Ross McTrain in the Gold Max D. He's locked in already. So what can he do here in St. Louis to try and I guess just get more points for the standing? He might. You never know. You know, he might be testing. He, he might try a move or two that we could see in the World Finals, you know, might as well test some things out. Different moves, different, you know, mindsets, different oh. setup with the truck even, maybe. So we'll have to see. Oh! All right, well. Keep the back up to the, uh, the back. You don't know, normally see a max D truck with that because it's a rear engine truck, but, uh, or excuse me, a front engine truck, but, uh, <laughs> he, he just did it. Might be a little stiffer on the suspension, maybe? Maybe so, and, uh, see, I go to some donuts here. 30 seconds in for the gold max D and Ross McTrain, so... Looks like this bit is the mentality of this season. A common event win. Build up the momentum as the run goes along and do the biggest stuff right at the end. Uh, looking around here, 45 seconds left in his run. Backflip maybe? No, he thought differently of that. He's going to go for the 
single jump, I guess you can consider that. He's going to almost not land on top of the back of the MX hill there. That could have been really bad. But it's been good so far. Ooh, oh, wall! For the wall, he barely kind of nicked it right there. So, did a good job not hitting. I thought he was going to run right into it, but did a great job. Landed down nice and slow. Three seconds left, but he eats. I mean, to, to defeat Lord Chunk, he needs a lot. I don't even... Oh, my goodness, right here, Joe. Oh, look out. Oh, 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 wheels. Oh. Trying to save it. Oh. Still stuffed oh. the front end, and it's a save. Joe, that truck never went upside down through that entire thing. That was insane. Can he get one final move in? I would count that. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. What a hit. Man, that single jump uh, may have just hurt someone, Trey, instead of... Uh... <laughs> that looked like a NASCAR type hit. I mean, that was full speed right on the front end and just whipped it the other direction. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, monster trucks aren't normally used to soaking up you know, impacts like that. So look at the look at this. I mean, again, he never went upside down. Not here yet. Wheels. He's gonna whip it over to the other side. Still no. Nope, Stuffs nope. the front wheel in and. Lucky it didn't break right there. Yeah, still <laughs> trying to save it. I mean, that was insane that was, for uh, Rustic Train. That was pretty impressive right here. And then right here, I mean, watch this hit again. It was just the whiplash on this thing. Oh yeah, oh. right on the front. You don't you don't like that for sure if you're Rustic Train or anyone watching. And it wasn't the best of runs for Ross McTrain in the max. He will see the scores as they come in. It's a 19-5. That currently ties him with the Mountain Dew Code Red truck, the first truck out. So that will be a tie for fourth currently. Obviously, disappointed for Ross McTrain. He has had such a solid season. He hasn't won an event, but he's nearly locked in in the Mad Scientist truck. He's had a great season, very solid. We'll see if he can continue that consistency and just get enough points to lock his way in here in St. Louis. Now, now, by nearly locked in, what do you mean? He is on the verge. He is within single points, Trey. About five points or so. So do you think he 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 might be able to just risk it tonight and, and kind of bounce off that? Or do you think he still kind of wants to take it a little easy and secure himself in? I think with, with the way he's seen so far this event, with uh, some people below him maybe not having the best runs, like Rosvick Train, he's, he might jump Rosvick Train if he has a good enough run. So... I guess why not go for it? I think Evan oh my goodness. has the mentality to go for it because that <laughs> is the biggest air we've seen so far tonight. Uh, that's the one thing I love about this, you know, with the point system and everything. You know, sometimes drivers are close enough to being locked in that, you know, they just don't care anymore. And uh, they're just going to give it at all. Oh, what look out! That? Oh, wow. What a save. On top of the pot of all places. That was a... Uh, Oh no, he's oh, going to upside not done yet! Yeah. Another save! Oh my god! Well, he's, he's definitely trying to challenge Lord Chung in terms of the save she had. Yeah, and it might be able to do it if he can continue this. I mean, that was back-to-back -back saves. It was, and now he's going to turn around here. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! What? You... Uh, what? How? I didn't know how he had the momentum to do that. I didn't think he had the momentum to do that. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 that's a hard landing. There's the no way. Bottom. What a save. Oh, oh no. no. Can he save this one? Not this time. Oh, no. About five seconds left. So I don't think there could be too much of a deficit for not filling the clock. But it might just be enough to give Laura Chung the advantage. I... <sighs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's gonna be in second. I definitely agree with that. But I don't think he has enough to take the lead. Yeah, I just don't know. I mean, this was a an amazing save right there. I don't know if he ever touched the gas or if maybe just the wheels spinning themselves did it. He That's touched right. it. He blipped it. That's it. Yeah. He blipped the gas. And then right, and then right here, here, he didn't have to right do after it. <laughs> right after, and then uh, he he only lost the hood. So I mean, I want to see this save when he was flinging the truck around and it flipped over. Right here? I didn't I didn't think it had enough speed to come back around. So let's see. Hits the gas trying to save it. Oh. He hit the brakes and it looks like it just came back over. I mean, like good enough, he saved it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it worked out for Evan Hunter. Unfortunately right here, this didn't work out. Hard oh. landing on the bottom. Saves this one, but that single jump tray. That's two trucks so far? Two, three trucks? Three yep. trucks. Unfortunately, Three trucks. Evan could not save that one, but I think it's a good enough result to lock his way into the World Finals and get a good result. To give it a 23-5, that's currently second place, a point and a half short of the Bakugan Dragonoid. That should be good enough to lock his way in. So, Evan Hunter, mission accomplished right there. Next up, we have Hot Wheels, Mathis Wells,
Trey, he is just below by a few points. What can he do to try and jump up ahead of drivers like William Seaman to try and get his way into the World Finals? Well, I mean, if that first hit indicates anything, I think he's going to go for it. He's going he's gonna to give it at all. I mean, I you might as well so. if you're that close below it. Yeah, he is barely below, and you can tell with how he started out this run. First two hits, some big-time air off of it. Finds a little right there, so able to control that one back down to all four wheels. So for Mathis Wills, so far, three hits, three different ones. Now four. Nice air off the MX Hill. Barely missed the Padre as <laughs> you reacted there. That could have been really bad if he hit it. Yeah, that, uh, I thought he was heading right for it, I'm going to be honest with you, but he just missed it. That was a smoother landing than I thought it was going to be as well there, and he's going to combo it up. Nicely done there with 45 seconds remaining in his run. He's got some great momentum so far, but if he wants to challenge for the lead, or at least, you know, kind of secure himself into uh, just getting above oh, that no! cut <laughs> line. Wow, talk about riding the line on top of that ramp right there. That was impressive, but, uh, he might want what? to start getting some wow factors, and I think he read my mind, Joe. I don't know what that move is called, but he just kind of really down the MX Hill. Is he's going to be going for the backflip, kind of built into that tabletop right there. 15 seconds left, goes into it. Broke it. some. Broke something onto the nose, but saves it. 10 seconds left. He oh, might caught? be stuck. He gets off of it. Six seconds oh, left. Oh, cartwheel back it onto all fours. Matthew Wells is ending the run out in a big way. Clock hit zero. This is not scored. It's all for the fans now. He's all over the place. Broken <laughs> part. Flipping the oh, truck oh, around. Oh, oh. <laughs> Back on all four wheels. Mathis Wells wishes the run was about 10 seconds longer because that all would have counted otherwise. Do you imagine if that would have counted? I mean, that would have uh, easily bumped up his score at least another three points. I think it would have I mean, right here. Nice air. And this was the save that was on top of the, the pod. Yeah, when Let's I was talking about riding the line, I mean, yeah. <laughs> right there, Joe. He, he pretty much did it. <laughs> <laughs> so for Mathis Wells, once again, I don't know if he's going to be able to overtake back. We've gone right here. Here's where he broke the front wheel. Landed down the nose as well. I don't think it's going to be able to overtake back. We've gone. I don't think it's enough to overtake Mad Scientist either. It might be enough for about third or fourth at the moment, maybe? Podium. That's all that matters. Podium. Yeah. And right here, I don't know how the wheel didn't break off. Yeah, I mean, and then, it's yeah, already I don't know how the truck came around and landed back on all fours. <laughs> he really <laughs> wishes that would have counted in a solid run. Will it be enough to get him above the cut line is the big question. We'll have to wait for everything, obviously, to, to cycle through. It's going to be a 21-5. So that's right now fourth place. He's right below Mohawk Warrior, but he is ahead of William Seaman and Raising Kane. So the more trying to get him he and Seaman, good for him. But next up, we have Brandon Beal and the Scooby-Doo. Trey, he won in this dome last season. It was the first ever Summit Division uh, event. Won that one. He got into the World Finals last season. He's below the cut line now. What can you do in the Scooby-Doo truck to try and get it into the World Finals? Do you think if you win the first ever Monster Gym event here in the first ever season and the first ever event for the Central, you, uh, you're you a fan favorite? Uh, maybe. I, I mean, I think you're definitely a fan <laughs> favorite if you're in the Scooby-Doo truck. Oh, that, that's a gimme. I mean, I don't care who's driving that thing. I mean, it, it could oh, be, no. you know, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my goodness. What? what? No way. Well, Scooby-Doo's good at finding mysteries. He somehow find the mystery to saving that truck. I don't understand how that just happened. Oh, the hood's stuck with him. Yeah, I was going to say, he has to find the mystery now seeing out the windshield because uh, <laughs> it, he can probably barely see because it is kind of up on his side. He's going to go for a backflip. Why not, I guess? Land it down nicely right there and a little bit oh. of a moonwalk. Look at that. It's still stuck in there, though. That thing's really wedged in there. Yeah, he normally be a backflip and take the hood off, but... uh. That thing is really wedged. Oh, oh, no! And the gas are another save! Yeah, kind of cleared it up a little bit there. You tap the hood. He's going to try to roll it over, maybe, and try to, uh... Well, maybe he doesn't really know where he off. is. <laughs> I don't... He doesn't really act like he is. does know where he is. I mean, he's just trying to turn in the truck and gas oh, it. I don't understand. It looks like the hood went back a little bit more for him, and it might have actually hurt him. I don't... I can't tell. Yeah, it's definitely covering <laughs> up the... <laughs> I mean, he filled the clock out. He so did fill the clock. Oh, oh, watch the, the wall. wall. Oh, oh. He's in the wall hard. The Scooby-Doo truck is upside down onto its side. That is it. Body parts are it, still. You think the judges might give him a little bit more points for not being able to see for 90% of that run? Maybe. I don't know if it's going to challenge Laura Chung, Trey, but I think it's going to challenge Evan Hunter for sure. Especially with this. this. I mean, I don't understand. So barrel I roll. 
Yeah, right there. And then it's going to tuck backwards. Over rotate that. That's a gymnast move. How did the wood even get up there is my question. I don't know. The ears are off. The (laughs) tail stayed on. The collar stayed on. Out of all things to stay on, the tail stayed on. (laughs) Backflip right here, which led to a little bit of a moonwalk. Very interesting move considering he couldn't really see much. I mean... He could see out the bottom of the floor, so I guess that, that's all he needs. <laughs> might be able to judge where he's at. <laughs> that was all he needed. <laughs> and then, I mean, I, I don't understand how he. I, I honestly don't think he knew where he was for half this. And then right here, it ended out his run into the wall, smack. Oh. And then look, look at the body parts right here. You, you know, the truck's been upside down for a long time now. Flips over, still nothing, still nothing. Bam. And it's a 23 5, so that ties it with Evan Hunter. We'll see which of them gets the tiebreaker. Very crucial there because Brandon Beal needs every point, yet he's below the cut line. So the higher up he gets, the more points. But next up, we have Ramonition and Keyshawn Richardson. Another driver below the cut line. His teammate did not have the best result. He was above the cut line. Can Keyshawn try and jump Samet Osgin to get Keyshawn into the world finals? I want to apologize. I said the truck name wrong in the uh, intros. I said Ramy Nation. It's Ramy Nation. I apologize to Keyshawn and his team. I think, uh, are you a part of Ramy Nation? Uh, yeah. I mean, unless they don't want me in it anymore because I can't pronounce the <laughs> truck name, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he heard you announce it wrong. He's like, I'm going to announce my presence now. Yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't blame him. You know, I just gave him motivation, so they should let me back on the team. <laughs> oh, that's going to, oh, my gosh. I don't know how he drove it up the pod like that. That looked like it was going to hurt when it landed. Yeah, you know, it, it might have hurt a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it really affected him at all because he's still going. But look at the air off the race. Oh, oh, oh no! He that saved that. Nice oh, move. maybe no! no. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? I, I guess, mean, I guess that's a unique move, right? Yeah, I would count that. I didn't never thought the uh, wall would help you in that way, but I mean, it did. Watch out for the single drop. <laughs> Barely went to the side of it. Now he has 20 seconds left. Trey, it looks like he's gunning it for some big move. Oh, my huge goodness. Sky Willie lands it hard. Oh. It broke again. It did it break the front again. It broke both. <laughs> Are both broke? I think so, considering where he's parking it. I think he's done. That's two trucks now, Joe. That was, what, Octanator? And, yeah. and just now Keyshawn Richardson. I mean, that's... That's crazy. Well, that ramp is dangerous then, obviously. But right <laughs> right here, this racing lane put the nose down perfectly to just put that right on the rear of the truck right there. And then, as he turns, he turns to where the truck is not set at all. But right here... It just... It's not even the whole truck. It's just the back tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And it lined them up perfectly, too. It did. I mean, look they at that. went for the next one. Then right here, huge sky willy. It didn't go back as far as the Octanator truck, but same result. It broke both. That's insane. Yeah, that you know you hit. I mean, it, it goes through the whole truck. You know, it quakes through the whole truck to break both the front and the rear. It was a good run for Keyshawn Richardson. We'll see what the scores are. They should be at least decent for him as they're coming down from the judges. It's going to be a 22.5, so that's not bad at all. That could be enough to try and point his way in and maybe knock out Seaman, maybe knock out Samet Osgin as well, because we also know Brandon Field did well. The next out, Ultra Local Conrad Evans. He's in at the moment, not by much. We'll see what he can do here in St. Louis to try and make sure that he stays above, and he goes for his second straight BMG Monster Jam World Finals appearance. We'll have to see if he's going to be able to step up to the plate and, you know, get his way in or if he's going to fall just short and have to go to Atlanta, which, I mean, you know, I wouldn't complain about going to Atlanta. It's, it's a nice place. It's going to be a, a huge stadium out there. It's a stadium. It's a racetrack. It's a racetrack, Joe. Come on now. Well, you should I, know this. I was going to say stadium floor, but, I mean, it's going to be a huge Front stretch. It's going to be a huge floor because, I mean, <laughs> front stretch there is basically bigger than the stadium floors we go to. Do so, uh, you think they'll have uh, any race cars as some of the crush cars? They might. Some old race cars, Gen Ooh. 4 cars. Who knows? Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> Conrad Evans is done with half the run so far in the Tour Logo. And uh, it looks like he's been taking it easy, but maybe now he's starting to ramp it up. And, I mean, he has good reason to. The people below him, right below him at points, Brandon Beal and Keyshawn Richardson, they did really well this event, Trey. If you're right above, you have to be a little bit nervous. Yeah, you definitely are nervous, and you got to make sure that you can do everything you can with 20 seconds remaining. He hasn't really had a wow factor 
in this run to, you know, really try to put himself over the top of his, you know, the two drivers below him there. So we'll have to see what he can do. Oh, oh my goodness! What do you call that move? How is he still driving that thing? Did you just see the head he took? Uh, it lo I mean, it looks like maybe a little dizzy or something because that truck was not turning well. One second left. He gets off that final move. It's a sky willy over the tabletop. It puts it down onto all fours, Trey. So... Conrad Evans ends the run out strong. It may not have been the best run throughout. He looked like he hit the wall pretty hard there at the end. <laughs> just slammed the wall with the back of his truck. <laughs> but for Conrad Evans, that might be good enough to just barely squeak his way into the World Finals. It might have been just good enough to keep it, his mark inside the top nine. I want to see the hit he just took here. I mean, first off, the backflip, textbook, perfect. Didn't That's touch a anything tight rotation. On the truck. That is a, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't think he could have gotten it any tighter than that right there. Yeah, it looks like it stalled a little bit there for a minute, but he's able to get back on. And then right here from floor level. Watch this hit. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. And it, and it like <laughs> kicked it right around. The yeah. body never even touched. Is that a kick flip? What do you call that? Flat split in 360? I guess. I uh, We've never seen it before, whatever it was. And then <laughs> final move right there. Sky willy willy up over the tabletop. Gets it back down onto two wheels and then back onto all four. Clock hit zero by then. So now he... He was kind of showing off for the fans and got a little overzealous with his little showing off. And right here, eh, a little tap. Boink. I don't think the tire touched more than the, the truck yeah. itself. And it's a 21.5. That ties him with Mathis Wells and the Hot Wheels. We'll see where that ends out. But for El Toro Local Conrad Evans, you might be feeling decently safe. Well, one of the drivers fighting for the championship in the Central Division. He's nine points below Jake Galloway. It's Eli Bright and Gravedigger. Trey, he won this championship last season because of the final event. He beat Brett Sierra in the final event because he won it. Will it be history repeated again? Done. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Well, You know, for as much speed as he got there, that was a hard hit onto the back was, of that MXO. That was. <laughs> And, uh, I, I mean, you think about how he started out his freestyle in the last event last season where he did a four momentum front flip over the back of the MX hill. That might not be as bad of a hit as it was last season. You know what? That's, uh, I'll give you that one, Joe. You got a point there. But, uh, you know, it, it kind of makes you wonder, well, you know what, uh, Eli's capable of and how hard he goes. There goes the flag, by the way. And, uh, I'm kind of curious if he's, uh, willing to go even harder considering he's going for the championship, but, you know, it actually might hurt him in the end second straight Central Division Championship. We know that. And, I mean, he'd love nothing more than oh, to beat his oh. good friend Jake Galway oh. for it. And I think what? he's proven that he's willing to oh, do a oh, lot for oh. it. Nice save. Well, I mean, if you think about it, he's, in a way, he's kind of battling his team. I yeah. mean, you know, Grave Digger, son of a that digger. Was, that, was, that was interesting there. So a little inter-team battle here for the championship. That's always going to be fun. Oh, he lost a head. That's about every event that was a headlighter too. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, how did he land that? <laughs> kept it on going. So Eli Brent, the Gravedigger, going all out for that division championship, trying to beat Jake Gow. He needs to outscore him by a few oh. positions as it's he down to the final 10 seconds. Nope. He is going I crazy. He Can so. he get one final move in, Trey? One, zero. Oh, oh. my gosh. That's back on all fours. That truck just de did you see that thing explode? I think he broke a lot on that truck. I I mean, if I was a judge, I would count that. I would too. It happened before the clock went away. Oh. So I mean, just look at that. Look at the pieces flying off of that. Well, I don't think I don't think he was on the gas or the brake when it saved right there. I think it just kind of came over on its own. So for Eli Bright, a really good run. It's gonna be a 24 for Gravedigger. Trey, that's right now second, which means for Jake, he needs to get at least third. That's, yeah. We'll have to see what Caden uh, Lynn here can do. With, uh, you think, think he can challenge for the lead? Uh, maybe. I mean, he's on good momentum, finished second last week, and got good points there to get above the cut line. So for Caden Lynn, if he can just perform well enough, he's in the World Finals looking for the black row. We know what the truck is capable of doing behind the wheel opposite last season and we saw what he did last season in the World Finals. For Caden Lynn, he wants to get it there because he's going to try and live up to the hype Lord Chung did last season. Uh, he can definitely do it though. We, we, we we've both know it, that yes. for a fact. Yeah, exactly. So he'll just have to, again, I said it at the beginning, you know, luck's got to be on your side. Getting down towards the final 50. Turn around very close to that wall. Off of 
it to get a, a single jump right there. It's gonna be a little bit awkward landing, but gets it down nicely towards the pod. Another awkward landing on the exit right there, but gets it going, and he's into the second half of the run of the Black Pearl truck. So trade has been solid, but I think he's just going for solid at this point. He's not really trying to take many risks. Oh, yeah, well, you might maybe he is. Well, never mind. Oh, oh, no, watch out. Oh, he's into the barriers, and he's upside uh, down with about 20 seconds left. Joe, you want to take back what you just said? Yeah, well, he's willing to take risks, I guess, <laughs> in the final 30 seconds. Uh, wow. What a sequence of events that just was. Yeah, let's see it right here. So he put it down and then put it into another wheelie over well, the single I... jump jammer. Was he trying to get... Why did he hit... Oh, he, I, I guess, mean... I guess he's trying to get more forward rotation. And it ended up landing him right onto yeah. his roof. I, I guess he tried to wow. go for the inner backflip, but uh, ended up not having enough rotation to do that. Into the wall. It's going to be an 18. That's right now second to last, or time for second to last, Trey. That's not looking great if you're Caden Lynn, but if you're Jake Galloway, you need to do a lot. Eli Bright is right now scored in second. He'd be getting 20 points. Jake needs to outscore him. I, oh, it, I, this is going to come down to the wire for Jake. He can do it. I I believe in him. I think he can do it. Well, with how he started out right there, he can definitely do it. But uh, he's won two events this season. So he knows how to get it done. And he just, I, I mean, he just needs third place, right? Trey, only third place. That's it. Just third. Podium. That's all you got to do. It's, uh, of course, easier said than done. But we'll have to see if he can uh, end up pulling through. Look at the air he is getting, Joe. He's definitely at least trying to get third place. Yeah, it looks like he's on full attack right now. So... Third place at the moment is Brandon Beal with a 23.5. Eli Bright has a 24. So that oh means, goodness. Trey, the only way for Jake to get third, he has to tie Beal and beat the tiebreaker there, or tie Eli, and that doesn't matter what the tiebreaker does there. Well, oh no! Nice. Oh, that was a weird oh. landing that that was. So he's, he's had some good hits, great momentum, a headlight's gone for him as well. He's That's a great final, bigger thing. Yep, final 30 yep. seconds for Jake Galloway. <laughs> towards the MX Hill, starting to definitely ramp it up a lot more than he already has. What can he do in these final 20 seconds? Maybe a backflip right here? Yes, he will go for one. Backflip into Oh, it. look at the air. Nicely done. And he didn't have to back up. That was insane. He's going to air it off of that. Watch out for the blow oh! section. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's back on all fours, Trey. What was that hit? I don't know, but we'll, I, we'll get to see it again in the replays. But, Trey, was that enough to beat Brandon Beal or tie Eli Bright or even beat Eli Bright? I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you, Joe. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Well, Look uh, at the air on that backflip, though. That was that was huge. For sure. Last trick out. Lost in all this. That Laura Chung is still leading in the back of Gun Dragonoid, Trey. If Jake cannot beat the 25, Laura Chung wins her first event of the season. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think she has it at least has the win i i definitely think that we'll see what the scores are for the judges for jake gowan son of a digger it's going to be a 24 that ties with eli which means lord chung wins her first event in back on dragonoid but more importantly jake galloway is the central division champion over last season central division champion so jake galloway got it done trey you know uh <laughs> you know he's gonna rub that in a little bit to his <laughs> friend there eli bright and uh We'll have to see. We'll have to see what Eli Bright thinks about that one. Let's see how they do at the World Finals. That's true. But <laughs> speaking of the World Finals, this event had a lot of you know contenders that were right above, not get good scores. Ravener, Black Pearl, uh, Raising Cane, people below got good scores, and it shakes it up. Trey, the nine drivers in: Jake Galway, Eli Bright, Evan Hunter, Laura Chung, Ross McTrain, Caden Lynn stays in, Brandon Beal jumps in, Conrad Evans stays in by two, and William Seaman stays in by a single point. Wells misses by one. Smet Osgan falls out by three. Keisha Merchant only four short. Nagan Scott six short. And then obviously Connor Annapole and Pringle Man are the bottom two. So a big shakeup in the points after this Central Division event. Some knock their way in like Brandon Beal while we see... Samet Osgan fall out. The top nine are to the World Finals. The bottom six are to the last chance event. We'll see you guys for the West Division.